All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? Uh, coming at you guys with a post commentary. So, um, yeah, man. Um, we're still playing the YCS deck um, with a couple of changes. And I don't know if you guys watched the end of the video, but pretty much uh, I changed the deck to uh, Gamma's. I changed the Ashes out. I swapped the Ashes out for Gamma, and then I added two Twin Twisters because I feel... Um, I feel like Twin Twisters are just good enough to maim, seeming how fucking Sky Strikers are just still running around everywhere. But also against Altergeist, against True Draco, and any other back row deck, Twin Twister is just a great main deck card, I, I believe, right now. Because if you're planning on getting through, the, you know, if you're planning on getting through um, the first couple of waves of uh, decks when you had a tournament or something then you know you got to expect some kai strikers so i think maining them is good and then also the added benefit is if my opponent isn't playing any back row we could just easily side those cards out for more hate towards that deck so i feel like it's pretty cool and uh you know i cannot be mad at it. i really do like the addition of twin twister so as you can see here i'm going straight for the uh extra link combo folks but as you can see i did use uh two mizukis already and now i'm just gonna i'm now right here i'm thinking if i should use my third one or should i get something else that can revive itself and keep that last mizuki in the deck because i do have zombie master and so i think you know what i'll just go for it and in hindsight probably shouldn't have did this I probably should have just got a hound horde um and then go, went from there because then i could have searched mizuki and then like i said we could have had a still a free revive for zombie master and then yeah it could have it could have been a lot worse if um it, yeah it did th this play is very very um i mean um what i was saying this 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 play could be a lot worse because if i don't draw into a burial if i don't draw into anything that puts back mizuki or anything to special summon like soul charge or something then i'm i'm part pretty much shit out of luck so that's pretty much what i'm going for here and that was pretty much my um idea throughout the whole tournament was to pretty much just try to build as much of the advantage and then draw into a burial and then force my opponent to quit or just gumbler the rest of their cards out of their hand which uh it, it succeeded for a minute and as you can see here i'm going for that and uh what i like to do um now not even now but I, what i really like to do now is uh go you can uh link up firewall with three and then add three back for free because you're always going to have something special summon out of your hand because a uh, goblin zombie is going to be um pretty much going off every game i mean not every game but like pretty much every summon it is so now what we're going to do here is add back um Yuna zombie and only thing you really want to get is keep the you want to keep goblin zombie in grave do not add goblin zombie back to your hand because it can get a little uh, it can get a little terrible here now right there i probably should have discarded banshee but you know i just wanted to be that so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to link up into a scoldy and i'm going to put it right there because as you see proxy dragon and uh what's name can uh link into a, a unicorn to put the uh what's the name back so then I'm still able to pretty much get another Scoldy draw off. And as you can see there, I drew into the burial. So now I'm just thinking, all right, this is just this is just going to be lovely. And I also have a pre prep. So here what I can do is now I can super uh, solidify that I'm going to be able to uh, uh, not solidify, but I'm super going to be able to pretty much, excuse me, do the play that I was trying to do. So here. I was thinking about using Banshee, but I should have kept Banshee in hand. I should have just used um, probably uh, Gozuki or something. Just use something else. So here we're going to do is going to spin back that draw a free card. There's a burial. We're going to activate this origin. We're going to uh, special. We're going to ritual summon this guy, and then we're going to use our core in the graveyard to pretty much special summon. And then there you go. We have another four monsters for Skull Deep. Uh, for Skull Deep, and now I have double burial. So now I can make my plays. No, I can make my plays whatever I want. And then we can also make a Slayer Chain Link too. So then we can thin out all of our cards, and then we can draw cards and then what i probably should have did was put back uh, did i put back the hound horde i think i did i was trying to did i oh okay yeah i did all right and then here i'm thinking all right this is pretty much game i can activate banshee now activate the zombie world and that's once again the beauty of zombie world you, you, you don't really want to play for your opponent to kill zombie ward or something like that you just want to use it as a combo piece and as you can see here now i can just revive firewall and then two other uh, links that point to each other and then go from there and then now i can you know like i said i can go gumbler i can go omega uh, because i do have glow bloom in my hand and i also have a uh, battle lord um in the graveyard that has not been summoned yet so that is a good thing bam activate the evolution some of the battle lore but i decided to keep i had to keep the what's name in the deck because if i did not it was going to be a bad situation um if i did not keep uh, what's the name in the deck uh if i didn't keep another i was trying to basically resolve battle lore but what i should have did 
um, was just use the cards out of my hand because I still do have a f live firewall negate and I also have a burial and I also have a twin twister just in case I'm playing something I do not know what I'm playing um, but I already told you guys I'm playing Sky Striker so here I'm thinking what should I do how should I link it off um, pretty much what should I go into should I go into Trigate I was thinking about going into Trigate but I'm thinking um, I can I can go Trigate because I still have burial so I can go Trigate and link that shit up with uh, any amount of monsters but I'm also trying to use uh, Omega so here I'm thinking yeah, fuck it. Let's just go Gumbler using a uh, unicorn and uh, actually let me set my, tw my my two spells first. We're going to go Gumbler using unicorn and Cerberus. Um, and then what we're going to do here is go straight into our Omega. So now not only are we getting uh, what's the name? Not only are we getting two cards out of his hand, we're also getting a free Doom King on the board. So he's two negation. So that's we're just on top and it, i forgot to actually use battle lord's effect which is a very big mistake and you definitely don't want to do that folks you don't want to do that um then you always use battle lord because you never know what you might be playing against because right now if he discards two burning abyss then we're in some trouble here so here uh i can now go into a sucker in my playoff and so now i have a free draw i also have a free double uh what's the name and i also have a twin twister and i have two negations folks i have two negations live and fucking ready for this man and then guess what happens i discard two and then uh yeah and then then if you look to the bottom left we get called such words that just doesn't make any sense and so he tries to activate hers but now nah, because if we let him activate hers he's able to uh just link off our vampire circle which does absolutely nothing but we don't want our opponent to have fun folks we want our opponent to be upset and right now i'm gonna hit him with the twins first and we're gonna be called words and yeah that is it for right now so stay tuned folks for uh in a vid another video in a couple of uh, uh hours thank you very much for watching i will see you guys in a couple of hours